Three. You know, uh, I like a lot of time to come on here and uh, and defend him, but today it's not one of those days. You can't. Uh, it's hard to put uh, a whole loss on one person, um, but if you could, today's on Tony Romo. That was horrendous, awful, awful football out there. Um, and and the frustrating part about it was if he'd come out and was ineffective in the first half where he wasn't getting the ball to people, he wasn't making throws. He was 10 for 14 in the first half. But four of those that weren't complete, I mean, three of those, three of the four that weren't completed were interceptions. And they're all bad interceptions. It, it, there wasn't a, it wasn't a single time where the receiver made the wrong move or it got tipped or he got pressure or anything like that. They were all bad throws and bad reads. The second one was the worst in the end zone. Because if you were watching the game, they pointed it out on the telecast, but you also could see it. Uh, Dwayne Harris was wide open, straight right there in the middle of the, of the end zone. Uh, didn't see him, didn't didn't notice it. Uh, then threw a, a, a pick in the back of the end zone. Uh, just horrible, horrible decision-making by Tony Romo. Um, and the thing is, of course, you know, the narrative is that he's a terrible decision-maker, throws picks all the time. He had 10 picks last season. Um, he has definitely improved on not turning the football over, which has really been his Achilles heel. Um, but today, you can't do anything against the Niners. And the frustrating part, part about this is, you know, we talked about, we talked about, we talked about how bad the Dallas Cowboys defense is. And for the most part, rightfully so. Mainly because they're just depleted. There's not enough horses out there to really have a legit NFL defense. And I know that in the second half, San Francisco was mainly just trying not to make mistakes or keeping the ball on the ground. But the Dallas Cowboys defense did what they needed to do today. The Dallas Cowboys defense did enough for this offense to make this a ball game. And that's what's so frustrating is that this could have been a ball game. This should have been a ball game with the 49ers. Um, but when you turn the ball over three times and then DeMarco Murray had that fumble to start with four turnovers, you're not going to win. And the thing about DeMarco, though, that's about DeMarco. His first carry of the game, fumble, Awful job. Return for a touchdown. That's not how you want to start. But Dad Gummit, DeMarco Murray ran his butt off, man. DeMarco Murray got the ball. After that, after that, no complaints about DeMarco Murray because he came back and he was that workhorse that we depend on him to be. Um, and then Romo just You can't do that. Um it just it's just awful. And you can definitely tell that the arm strength is not there like it has been. Um it was just awful. The first pick, you could definitely, he threw the, tri- the, the triple coverage on Dez, almost got Dez killed. Um, and then you got the pick in the end zone, then there's the bomb pick. And it should have been a fourth pick in the second half, just the good thing Dwayne Harrison would jump up and grab it. Uh, but just an awful day uh, for Tony Romo to come back. And, and you know, it's, uh, they mentioned the rust or, or whatnot. I, I don't want to give any excuses. That's awful. NFL quarterback, he's getting paid a lot of money. Uh, you can't play like that. That was awful, and that, that cost the Dallas Cowboys the game. Well, the main reason they lost this ball game, you know, and like I said, from from the 49er perspective, that's a very good football team. And Kaepernick and, and Frank Gore and all those guys are extremely talented. They didn't really have to do a whole lot. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys were able just to beat themselves, and the Niners, Trish, Trish was just not going to make any mistakes. So, you don't make those mistakes, this becomes a really good football game that we could have really enjoyed. Um, but you put yourself in a 21 to three hole. Against the San Francisco 49ers, it's not happening. Uh, golly, and I, I think the fact that you watch the defense, in the se- especially in the second half, you know, get stops, make tackles, things of that sort, that was a frustrating part because in the second half, it was the opposite of what the first half was to Tony Romo. In the first half, Romo was making throws, making completions, we were moving the offense down the field, um, but then we would either come up short in the goal line situation or he would just throw interceptions. The second half, it was nearly just ineffective. Um, he was making erratic throws, throwing over people's heads. Uh, just awful in general. Got two touchdowns in the second half, but most of that came from the fact that the Niners were just not going to give anything over the top for the most part. They were just going to let us have whatever happens up front and make tackles, make the Cowboys use, use time. And both drives where the Cowboys scored touchdowns in the second half, the drives thought were about five to seven minutes long which is not what you need when you're trying to make some kind of a comeback. Um, so 28-17, to 17, it was far worse than that um, because the Niners knew they had this ball game by the second once the second half got started as long as they didn't make any mistakes, and they didn't. Uh, 
you, you, you see it, it's the same it's the same junk uh, when you're watching this football team because especially on offense because you look around there's no excuse for this offense to not be able to score and if if Romo gets his head out of his butt and and we're and, and and plays better throughout the rest of the season this team has a chance to win some ball games um but when you make mistakes like that, you know you can go back and say, "Well, Long didn't make those mistakes." But if those mistakes become a pattern, then that is part of your identity and who you are. Ugh, doggone! I'm sick and tired of football. It's been one week. It's been one week, and I've watched these guys embarrass us on the field uh, against Brigham Young, and then the opening week, the Dallas Cowboys can't even put up a fight against San Francisco uh, because. Romo's throwing three picks, and we've thrown the ball for four times in the first half. Ugh. Mm. I hope the Mavericks have a good season this year. And Hey, there's, there's Miles Turner for the UT basketball. That may be good. Basketball season's coming up at some point. Ugh. you got at Tennessee next week, and Tennessee uh, put a whooping on uh, Kansas City uh, today, too. So, uh, doesn't get any easier at this point. Um, Romo's got to play better, and that really was... You know, there's a lot of facets to the football game. You guys know this. I, I never really like to settle on the easy answer. That's usually that's usually my my frustration with the Romo critics is that a lot of times they just fall back on the easy answer, which is ah, it's Tony Romo's not any good or whatever. But this is one of those ball games where you look at it and that was really the difference was that the quarterback did not play well and hurt the football team and. Hats off to our defense playing as well as they can. We're doing what they could. Um, but the San Francisco 49ers, a good football team. Uh, Kaepernick didn't have to do a whole lot, didn't make any mistakes. Um, and, and they were extremely efficient on third down. That was the thing that really kept San Francisco uh, away from us in this ball game. Frank Gore and Carlos Hyde running the ball. And uh, Anquan Bolden constantly making third down conversions for them. So congrats, San Fran. Dallas. Doesn't have to be, but they're starting off to make this, once again, a very long and painful season. How about them Cowboys indeed? See y'all next week.